So, uh, welcome to Level Up TV and LevelUpYourGame.net. We're here at DreamHack Summer 2012. Well, remote broadcasting from the London studios. Me disrepute and NVC Broken Calypt versus NVC. Yes! <laughs> it's your time to shine, NVC! You can do it! Beat him! Ah, yes! Oh, You're beating Calypt! You are the best pundit now. This is Clash of the Pundits. Look at NVC's rail, nice colours. What? I like <laughs> wow, you're actually like destroying him. <laughs> I haven't played this game in like, oh god. Oh no, he's at 15 health. <laughs> What's up? You I should be at the land. Thing, so you should lagging. be at the land. I'm probably warping. Look at NVC beasting it around. The big man himself, NVC. Look at him, he's taking it so seriously, you can hear how hard he's pressing. <laughs> What's going on? I'm confused because Calypso's way better than you, and yet you're destroying him. It's because he fears me from CTF. Yeah, he does. He knows you. Get a TV with your sponsors ads. Uh, we don't have any sponsors, so but that would be nice if we did have some sponsors. Anybody want to sponsor us? No. I I just start a couple of companies and sponsor myself. How about that? Would that be logical? Would that work out? Right, join the spec can you see? Do a proper intro this time, going. Oh my god, my my Firefox just crashed. Oh, I didn't reload. Do you need an invite? Uh, maybe. No. My chat stopped working. Oh no, it's still working. Prepare to so welcome fight. to Level Up TV at LevelUpYourGame.net. This is DreamHack Summer 2012 Three, Calypt versus two, Hypnotic one. Group stage match. And we're here on Blood Run to start off with Calypt gonna make a dive for that first red of the map and drop down for a real a rocket almost connecting pretty heavily on him. NVC as NVC times out, Hypnotic just catching Calypt out there for a second with the shaft. Calypt does hit that rail though, pushes him back. And uh, I would imagine this is what we'd expect to see from Calypso. Strong rail play from him. Yep, Hypnotic finally has a rail gun for himself as well, so we'll see what he can do with that. So tell us a little bit about uh, Hypnotic. Well, a lot about him, please. Oh, oh my god, it drops down. That's great rocket play. Absolutely annihilating. Calypso there with the rocket. Look at the pummel, though. Straight away, it's. Oh god. Lucky that 50 is up though for Hypnotic and the yellow, and now he's only got to wait 10 seconds or so for the red. Oh my god, a grenade drop down. That is brilliant by Calypso as well, the damage he's dealt there. But Hypnotic is too nearly up. Oh my gosh. Whoa. The damage output already on this map is so much higher than any other game we've seen. Look at those heavy rockets. Calypso could be in trouble here again, but Hypnotic only 8 health makes a dive for those 225s up to 50 available. health. They're still available, he needs the 50 HP if it's up and it's not. There's a couple of 5 HPs below him, but that still wouldn't put him above that yellow wall though, so... Now he's safe, at least for now, but uh, as he tries and stacks up, Calypso's just going to pick up everything on the map. And uh, Calypso's next port of call is a rocket launcher, because he really needs one. And, uh, yeah, I think maybe Hypnotic trying to keep him away. Wow, oh. great grenade by Hypnotic. Pushes him back five seconds to go before Red can Calypt even make an attack on this as Mega's only up in one second. Actually, Calypt comes in from high. Hypnotic actually hit that railgun shot, though. And that's the push around for the yellow. I'm going to switch around to Calypt, who's just got the Mega, just got the Red. It's a very heavy rocket on Hypnotic. Great rail diving around the corner. Brings it back to a one frag game. Only two minutes into the game, though. Still a long way to go. This has got too excited, NVC. Calm down, NVC. Calm down. Sorry, sorry. Five seconds to go before this Red Eclipse rocket jumps up to it. Great. Grenade spam could cause problems for Hypnotic trying to get the shot away. Yeah, Mace Calypso decides to drop down and go aggressive. Oh. Rail shot hit on Calypso. He missed his own rail shot. He's got three shots left, but importantly, no, no grenade ammo. 
Yeah, I mean, the great thing about dropping down from red is that your opponent never expects it. It doesn't matter how many times you do it against a guy who just assume you won't do it. Wow, that again. is astonishingly good rockets there, the first couple by Calypse. Calypse out down a little bit on the next, but he's going to get the frag with that light. Now he should have a nice run of the map. I mean, Calypse looks pretty smooth with all his, his shots. You know, the positions he's taken up for those shots on this map, at least. He's not really hitting as many as maybe he'd want to, but... Trying to grab this Mega. No damage taken grabbing it either. Hits the rail shot, needs the rail ammo, though. Can't get the second shot away before Hypnotic escapes. I think he knows exactly where he is. Calypse is very much a sort of domination style game. He wants to be in control, he wants to pressure you and attack you, probe you at all times. Good railgun shot third, impressive of the map. Two consecutive rails is impressive of course. Clip's going to have everything on the map, he's going to get that mega. He's probably going to uh, oh, rotate around toward the red. That's actually a crucial rail shot, because this could allow Hitmo to take the red armor here. Yeah. Well, though in fact, Clip's not going to get everything. Whatsoever. Yeah. We can tell Hypnotic's trying to play uh, as clever a game as he can. The damage output, though, by Calypse, every time they meet in a fight, is just so high, Hypnotic's finding it pretty difficult to do anything. He's going to have to hit some brilliant rockets here. Calypse going to come out on top with the shotgun there. Five seconds to go before the Mega spawns. He's just dropped down. Perfect timing for it. Oh, great rail by Calypse. 47% rail at the moment. Oh, that is a brilliant rail. For his fourth impressive, and he's rewarded with a free red armor for that one. I mean, Cliff didn't even look for the spawn frag there. It just, it just seems like he is more content about controlling the items on the map and, you know, really bashing down his opponent between them. Hypnotic trying to go aggressive there, but kind of have to hit your rockets. That's the problem with rockets when you do oh, oh my god, the grenade direct onto Hypnotic gets the frag. Boat. And Calypt um, pulls out with that Mega as well. Great air rockets, it's 8 to 2. It's looking very good, Calypt. Moving around this map, he looks so confident, smooth, controlled. Good aim and that. I mean, his stats aren't exactly amazing, but. Wow, very nice rocket play. Very He's spamming a lot. Um, uh... Yeah, it's the lightning gun that's surprising. I mean, 18%. Hasn't really used it that much though. I don't recall. Doesn't hit the rail shots. Direct rocket. Could be in trouble. No, Hypnotic stayed just too long there. I wonder if Hypnotic feels like maybe he's given up this map a little bit. Because why would you stay there in that position very open to a rail shot? Mm. I guess he Mind you, if he could hit one of them. Yeah. Still going aggressive with the rockets. He must know Clipped is stronger than him. It's not really the way you play this map, but then 10 2 down. Six minutes in, you sort of need to start dealing out some heavy damage. Don't you? That's great plasma by Calypt. Let's look at some yeah. of the stats on the Coming scoreboard. It is 11 to 2 on the red pickups, equal on the yellows, and 8 to 2 on the megas in favour of uh, Supremo commentator Calypt. Maybe he has just given up. He's not using anything but rockets. I don't know. And then you, you get, get to a point where you think, how am I going to come back into this? I'm just going to have to do mad damage. Mad damage, man! A nice rail then. Rail level now. Nice oh, rockets. Wow. Really good rockets. He just needs to hit one more. Maybe a bit of LG. Great evasion by Calypso. though. He's just going to go on a run if he can just slow down the pace. Oh, grenade. This is good plasma spam. If he can hit the rail, can he save that mega? He can't. This is nice rocket jump. Oh, Calypse not going to be baited though. Look how aggressive Calypse was there with the railgun sick aggressive of the map. I really like watching Calypse. There's been a couple of players so far. I think Pavel, uh, Calypse now, and Rafa all looking really, really strong. Apparently Rafa lost to Maddox. Really? Apparently so. That's what the chat said. Trust the chat, right? Hypnotic catching Calypse off the spawn with the rockets. Wasn't that efficient with them though, and that might put him in a bit of trouble. Gone this attack, Calypse with the lightning gun. Needs a second rocket to connect. He does 
He's down to 30 health again though. Comes out with the yellow armor. Got to be cautious of uh, Calypt off the spawn, but... Well, there is Calypt trying to hit that railgun. He did miss a shot. Whoa, look at that pummel around the corner. Calypt doesn't connect with the rail... Now, Calypt's got to be careful here. I mean, if he's just going to throw away a massive amount of frags, which it looks like he kind of is. Wow. Another, to MG. another pummel. Yeah. Yeah, you've always got to be cautious though. I mean, Calypt might be a massive amount of frags ahead, but look how many he lost in very quick succession. And if that run had continued, it's always the risk. But I guess Calypt's style is a bit more like, say, Avec. Just keep attacking, doing mass damage, and never the kill. get a hold, yeah. It works. It can work, should we say. Impressive. A couple of nice dragons, but uh, this map is over. I think really Hypnotic got to try and build some momentum for next map. Certainly had moments in this match where he looked like he could have uh, gone ahead, as have most of the people losing the maps actually so far this tournament. And uh, some of the people that have gone out already have looked promising. And it obviously wasn't a B, but maybe Hypnotic can do it to Calypso in second map. But uh, whilst we wait, um, it's interesting you should mention. Uh, Rafa Maddox. I guess it's not really that surprising. Well, it's, I yeah, think that was Rafa, only the first map, and apparently Rafa won the second. Uh, still going on. Well, either way, I think mean, historically Rafa always does a little bit worse in the groups. Yes, turns and against, it for day two. And against high aim players sometimes. Yeah, it usually takes him a day to really get into it, and then beats everybody. <laughs> yeah. Apart from Cypher in the final. Yeah, and only at Dreamhack. And only Dreamhack. So Hypnotic just sitting on top of this red a couple of seconds ago before that spawns. So near five frag margin, we've got 30 seconds left, he's not going to bring it back now. But I mean, it's not like he's been, I mean, for a long time, yeah, okay, Glick was massively on top, but it's going to end this map. Uh, it's going to be a pretty close end. Yeah. You've got to have a confidence after that. I mean, I I'm imagining Clip's not going to throw it away now. <laughs> Although, he's trying his best sort of like to give Hypnotic a chance. Rocket jumping at him. Great rocket after getting the frag, though. That's the thing. It's like, do you have a bit of fun at the end of the first map where you're going to win and potentially give your opponent some momentum and, you know, confidence going into map two? Or do you just continue to play passively, annoy the hell out of them, and just, you know, try drop their confidence? Yeah. Which is what Calypso didn't opt to do. I don't know. Commercial. 